guys. Hey guys, it's Kevin here. Um, I'm bringing you a new video today, um, talking about something that I think I'm really passionate about and something that I really love and just want to share my thoughts on, as it's been a, a varying opinion among, among others in the in the world of music. And it's just a band that's so good that I really love and that other people have differing opinions about. And I wanted to share my opinion on them because I love them so much. Um, I wanted to talk today about the band uh, Paramore. Um, this is a band to me that I think deserves every bit of recognition that it, it has gotten over the years um, for everything it's done. Um, now here's the thing, there's a lot of people out there that think that, oh, only the old Paramore is good because that's their more better sound or that that's when they were really rock or something like that. Which is true, they were more rock oriented back then. Like in the album Riot, you, the drums and guitar uh, and instrumentals are, uh, you can like feel their power a lot more. And compared to like After Laughter, which is like completely opposite, After Laughter is more like poppy, um, fun, just radio friendly almost. I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's more just like, Poppy, I guess. I don't know how else to describe it. But, nonetheless to say, in my opinion, I think everything that Paramore has done is, has been amazing. I'm just going to say that right now, flat out, just to get that out of the way. Everything that Paramore has put out is amazing. I love Riot. I love After Laughter. I love the 2013 self-titled album. I love Brand New Eyes. It's probably my least favorite album, actually, is Brand New Eyes. But, needless to say... Nonetheless, still a good album. Um, but I would say that um, despite people being so divisive, in my opinion, everything Paramore does has been great, and I love them so much. I'm what you call, I guess, a parahore. I'm just completely infatuated with everything they do. I, I've just been I've been listening to their music lately just now, and I've been thinking, you know what? I really want to talk about what I feel about each of these albums and how how other people feel about them as well. And I think that first and foremost, I think people need to stop like looking down on bands for changing their sound and being like, oh, I hate them. They suck. They can't do that. Bring back the old Paramore or something like that. Because, you know, with the band Linkin Park, their their lead singer Chester Bennington committed suicide and I think it was because like they were changing their sound in this last album One More Light to be more like lighter and like diff uh, more um more uh departure from their previous sound and I think all the negative backlash just caused Chester to just not want to do life anymore I mean he was kind of like a suicidal guy to begin with from what I heard he was a little bit like on the edge of that type of thing but like but I, I think that played a played a role in his suicide like people need to chill out and go go easy on bands when it comes to like them wanting to do their own thing like I feel like I feel like people should respect a band for wanting to go their own way because for one thing if if one band was to create the same sound for every single album that they did for their entire lifetime, I think that would get pretty damn boring. And and for for fans, too, I, I think it's important to know how to evolve and to explore new, new things and just appreciate everything that a band does. I mean, you can appreciate this type of sound that the band has and then appreciate the other type that this that, of sound that the band has and then just... You, you learn to appreciate each thing, each path that a band takes if you're really a fan of them. Not to say that you're not a fan of Paramore if you only like the old stuff, but, I mean, I'm sorry, like, that's kind of, like, disrespectful just to be like, yeah, your new stuff sucks, but I like your new, your old stuff. Oh, cool. I mean, it's just, it's, it's not that, like, I don't want to say mean, I don't, don't want to say it's mean, it's just... It just doesn't feel right to, to to be saying that. I mean, you can say you don't like the new stuff, that's fine, but at least say that you respect them for being able to evolve and you respect them that they want to go in a different direction. Um, that's that's what I really wanted to talk about here, but I also wanted to like just say like how I feel about Paramore 
in general, um, being that, like, After Laughter was the first album that I listened to, and honestly, I thought it was so amazing, so great, and I was like, you know what, I really love Paramore, so I'm gonna get into their other stuff, and I was a little skeptical at first, going back to the old stuff, thinking, you know what, I don't know if I'm gonna like this old stuff either, because I feel like people are so divided, there's it's it's like there's either you're either a fan of the new Paramore or you're a fan of the old Paramore, but I like both. I'm that big of a fan of them that I like both. Um, After Laughter is amazing, but it's actually not my favorite album because um, it. I would say it's my second favorite album. Um, I love the energy in it. I love the the lyrics. I love I love the whole vibe of it. I love just. The, the intensity and powerful vocals that Haley delivers. Haley Lum is such an amazing singer. Oh my god, she is so great. Her voice is amazing as always, but incredible in this, especially. Um, even after, like, you know, 15 or however so many years they've been going for, um, she's still amazing, needless to say. But, I mean, I mean, that's just one of the many things that makes that album so great. I mean, like, all the songs in that album are, like, flawless to me. I mean, I think that's what makes that album so great. But, um, I would say, uh, the 2013 album, Paramore, is the best album that they've ever put out. I think this is my opinion. Uh, this isn't to say that the other albums aren't great, because all of the albums are amazing. I think that they, they peaked at or their peak was, as of now, their 2013 album. Not to say that, hey, maybe they might put out something that's the best album I've ever heard in the future, but for now, I believe that they've peaked at th their 2013 album, uh, Paramore, because that's, that album is just such an amazing creation with so many great songs, and two of my favorite songs by them ever are on there, uh, Last Hope and Ate It Fun. And also, Still Into You is also really amazing. And Future, and Fast In My Car, Grow Up, Be Alone. Uh, I could just keep on naming them. Like, Daydreaming, Now. <laughs> like, so many good, good songs. And it's a 17-song album, though, which is also crazy. And I think that's amazing. But, but going back to other albums, though, Brand New Eyes is probably my least favored one for whatever reason I just I just think it's it kind of has trouble finding like should I be more rock more heavy more angsty or should I be more lighthearted, more poppy more um you know sappy happy songs it kind of like falls in the middle I feel like it, it kind of has trouble finding like oh which which direction should I go in for this I don't know I don't know like, but that's not to say there aren't great songs in there. There are great songs in there. I think it's still a great album, but it would have to be my least favorite. Um, and then lastly, going back to Riot, um, th this is where I say, you know, I still like All Paramore because Riot is, to me, their third best album because I, I can respect it because it, it, it it's, it's great in a different way than than the 2013 album and After Laughter are. It's great in a sense that you get to appreciate the use of instruments in it with the guitar and drums. They're a lot more like pronounced and raw. It's it's just more like raw, like as far as what their sound is like. And Haley still of course has great vocals, which makes me really appreciate it. But aside from that, I mean, the whole vibe of it is pretty, like, really, really, really angsty, so I'm just like, I don't know if I can really love this that much, but I but I do like it. I mean, I appreciate it, especially just because of Haley's vocals, because I'll always love Haley in anything that she does, anything that she sings. I recognize her voice no matter what. She is so amazing no matter what, no matter where she sings, whether it's when she is 16 or when she's 29. She's going to be amazing, and that's just... That's just a fact. But needless to say, nonetheless, Paramore is a great, great band that is just so awesome and deserves every bit of respect that they have. And I really hope they 
they keep going successful and hopefully make some more albums and go on tour. I've seen them on tour once now and they're amazing in tour and like I I I want to see them again. I really hope they go on tour again so I can see them again. But and I also hope they make new albums because I just love them and I got into them after After Laughter came out and now it's like the type kind of thing where it's like I want them to release a new album so I can be like excited for something new of theirs to come out so I can be like there to witness something great coming out of some someone I love because so many of the bands I listen to honestly don't put out music anymore because a lot of the music music I listen to is from like older bands like Rush and Styx and just bands that don't make music anymore so I mean I'd love to be able to like you know be a big fan of this artist and have them release something great that I really love but yeah um I just wanted to kind of rant about Paramore because I just love them and I love to share my opinion on them because they're so amazing I just wanted to say everything I thought about them and 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 just to, just to respect everything that a band does because bands evolve and they're going to want to do their own thing and don't don't hate on them because they're trying something new and you don't like it. If you don't like it, that's fine, but just just respect them that, that for the fact that they want to do something different because chances are if you're in a band, like you shouldn't want to do the same thing over and over again. That just gets boring. Let's be honest. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, but I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Take care.